Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're gonna go through a little bit of a mini haul that I got and I figure I would try some of the products on as I go. I kind of have a lot of random stuff here so uh, hopefully this video isn't 10 hours long. I probably have about 40 minutes until the sun goes down so also apologies in advance if the lighting gets increasingly worse. I need to try to figure out something now that daylight savings is back. Let's start off with a few skincare items. This product is something that I got during the Sephora VIP sale. This is the Clinique Repair Wear Sculpting Night Cream and this is supposed to be like a firming, lifting, kind of just anti-aging cream that you can apply all over. I've been using this for about three or four nights now and I really really like it. It's a very interesting texture like it's definitely like a gel cream that thins out and feels like almost like water as you're blending it into your skin. But yeah, I really, really like this. I love that it has no scent and it just feels cool. This product I haven't tried yet, but I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart in uh, Canada. I'm not really sure where you can buy Vichy anywhere else, probably online, I'll link it if I can. This is the Lift Active Retinol HA Concentrate new generation daily wrinkle filler treatment. So this is pure retinol with hyaluronic acid to visibly fill deep wrinkles uh, and have younger looking facial expressions, which is something that I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> prevent. I've noticed just recently that I've started getting some creases right here and I have kind of a, a frown line on this side. And this actually wasn't too expensive. Um, most skincare items, especially stuff with retinol in it, can run you up like 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars. And I think this was 40 something dollars. Also from Shoppers, I picked up this Embryoless um, Milk Cream, well, Le Cream, um, which is kind of like a moisturizer slash face primer. It just felt like such a cool product. It's very creamy, but it's not greasy at all. I think this is what I want to try on my face today. It kind of gives you that slightly tacky feel, but still baby smooth. So I feel like foundation will go really nice on top of this. I got a bunch of stuff from the brand Palladio, which is a brand that is sold at Sally Beauty. Um, and I got this like rice primer mattifying and perfecting rice primer. Haven't tried this yet. It feels a little bit silicone-y, so that's not my favorite for my skin. It's like super blurring, like even just like the little pores and like lines on my hand, like it just looks so smooth. So I'll definitely be trying that out soon. It kind of feels like the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer, if you've ever tried that. For foundation, I recently picked up these Water Me Please BB uh, Aqua Luster Concealer Roller BB Cream. And I believe these are Japanese um, or some kind of Asian beauty line called the Bisutang. I got this at the Showcase store, which is kind of like the as seen on TV store. So I actually did a whole like first impressions review and oh my God, that video was all over the place. If you're interested in this product, I definitely recommend go watching that video. I go through a life journey on that one. So I picked up one shade first, which was way too light. And then I went back and got the other shade. It only came in two shades. Um, and I haven't tried this one on my face yet. I just swatched it, so I kind of want to give this a try. I don't love this <laughs> rolling function. Um, I don't feel like that is helpful at all. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to use this new brush that I got as well. This is the Marc Jacobs The Face 3 foundation brush and I think I heard of this first from the Tayla. It's kind of like a really dense kind of large brush so I'm just going to blend that in. Yeah that brush is very nice. I'm not going to talk too much about this uh, BB cream because I did a whole video on it. I don't know about this color though. It only came in two colors. Um, one that was 
extremely pale and this one that is about the right shade like lightness wise for me but it's a little bit I don't know a little bit pink like I feel like my face looks very pale and very pink right now but it just looks exactly like skin like it is beautiful and I freaking love this brush it just made it so easy I've never really owned a really large foundation brush um, it was super expensive I actually had a gift card so I didn't feel so guilty buying it I've been eyeing it for a long time um, but would totally recommend okay I'm just gonna put a little bit of darker face powder on um, just to give myself a little bit of color just because I feel like that foundation shade was like a little tiny bit I don't know just not right okay I feel like I look super bright right now okay there I think that's better also from Palladio I got this two-in-one cheek and lip tint and this is in the shade I'm blushing super natural like just beautiful like baby pink shade without being too bright dot a little bit on yeah I really like that very very natural flush to the skin and it's very sheer too I don't love cream blushes that are really pigmented I'd rather be able to build it up a little bit on my forehead as well pressed rice powder mattifying and perfecting powder from Palladio uh, kind of off topic but I'm like really interested in trying some of that I'm not sure if it's pronounced collab or collab it's like that new Sally's brand that um, I think they collaborated with some of the influencers and youtubers um, so I'm really interested to see that this powder reminds me so much of the Fenty Invisimat powder like it is actually invisible on my skin it feels so soft like I feel like it blurred the pores so nicely picked up brow products as well this is the Palladio the brow definer micro pencil this is like very 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 skinny mechanical pencil and I got the shade I want to say ash brown yes ash brown now that I've totally fallen in love with the Anastasia brow Wiz, I'm kind of looking for dupes again because man that thing is expensive to keep up and I feel like I go through it so fast so this is a bit cheaper I like the feeling of it like it feels waxy but not um, super waxy like I like a slightly waxy pencil because I feel like I don't know it can mimic brow hairs a little bit better um, but it's still like pigmented and goes on really easily I would say this is more of an ash blonde like a dark ash blonde because I feel like my Anastasia brow is uh, in the shade ash brown is definitely darker than this one I'm not always super drawn to the makeup in Sally's like some of it I feel like looks really cheap but so far so good with this brand oh yeah but back to that collab or collab uh, brand let me know if you guys have tried that um, I also got this brow obsessed brow building mousse with fibers is this in the same ash brown shade oh light slash medium so this looks like the benefit uh, whatever it's called or the essence one that I have it's a really really small brush I want to compare brows here so this one has the brow gel and this one doesn't so I can definitely see some like additional uh, what's the word I'm looking for definition for lashes I've got two things I want to try both from Maybelline this is the colossal big shot tinted primer it says it has lash intensifying black fibers I've never tried a primer that was black I feel like mascara primers are usually white 
I actually really like the way that looks on its own. Like I almost don't even want to put mascara on over top because they look very soft and natural right now. Like very fluffy. Um, okay, while I'm letting that dry, I'll show you a couple other things that I picked up. I got this Yellow Tones Neutralizing Shampoo from the brand Fina Floor. I also got this at the Showcase slash As Seen on TV store. I just like ran out of the normal purple shampoo that I used, so this one was 50% off, so I picked it up. And I got this CNDC Vinyl Lux Week Long Wear Top Coat. I've been needing a top coat for a really long time, and this one says it lasts seven days. It's not the shellac, like you can't buy the shellac just in the store, I don't think. Um, but the lady said this is really good, so I have high hopes. I also picked up these like massage cups. So if you've ever had like cupping done at like an acupuncture uh, place or um, like a physio place, usually it's for like injuries, helping the circulation, blah, blah, blah. Um, but these are also used for like getting rid of cellulite, which I've had my entire life. I don't know, I might try it out for that purpose and also for the purpose of like my sore neck and back. I got some like jewelry pieces at Icing, which is kind of like a brand um, off of Claire's. So I got this like cute like little black headband that's like gold on the inside. I don't know, I feel like headbands could be like making a comeback, like the old school just like plain plastic ones. I also got these hoop earrings that I'm wearing, kind of a smaller set of like little hoops. And I got a pair of Levi's because they were 40% off at Hudson's Bay. I don't know if anywhere else in the world except for Canada has the bay, but this style of Levi's, the mile high super skinny jeans are my favorite style. I have, now that I have the black ones, I also have a pair of blue ones in the same mile high style and they're so flattering. Would definitely recommend if you're looking into buying a pair of Levi's. Okay, I feel like that's probably dry by now, so let's go in with this colossal big shot mascara by Maybelline. But oh my god, my lashes look freaking long. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, that primer definitely added some length. Holy crap. Okay, feet are asleep. Okay, I've got three different lip products. I don't know which one I wanna try. First is this Bobbi Brown uh, crushed lip color in the shade Telluride. I've worn this, I actually wore this earlier today. It's a gorgeous like kind of red nude, if that's possible. And it's just for that perfect, like no fuss, like lived in lip. So I just like put a little bit on and then I just like blend it out on my lips and it looks so nice. I've also got uh, another Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. If you guys have watched my channel, you know I absolutely love these multi sticks. I've got probably six or seven of them. Um, but I picked up the shade Almond. I don't have this one already. This is like just a gorgeous rosy brown. It's kind of similar to the shade Cashew, but a little bit more rusty brown, whereas the Cashew one has a little bit more like uh, mauve, mauve in it. And then I also have this Palladio Forever and Ever Intense Lip Paint. And I think this is a gloss, although I think I thought it was a liquid lipstick that dried matte, but the shade looks gorgeous. This is, in the shade timeless and I can totally see that like that shade looks like so old Hollywood to me a gloss girl but I kind of want to try it out oh and then I also got this like lip pencil from Maybelline this is a color sensational highlighting lip liner they did not have one on display at the drugstore so I have no idea what this looks like just the name highlighting lip liner really intrigued me. Okay, so it's kind of like a, where are you, right there. It's kind of like a shiny, frosty pink. Oh, I like that. If you're somebody who already likes to highlight the like Cupid's bow and stuff, I would totally recommend this pencil. I kind of want to try this gloss. Oh wow, that is insanely pigmented.
that is beautiful i usually don't like glosses but this is like so pigmented and so rich and the color is actually beautiful there's not really any shimmer in it it's mostly just shine i would say okay that is the end of this video it is getting super dark outside so hopefully this lighting isn't like terrible give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye